It's up or whatever. Yeah, like, like you hold both your arms up, you flex them. Yeah, like a strong man. Yeah. And then she did that. That means I'm in, right? Basically. Uh Cause otherwise they would just be like like turn away or some shit, right? She close her blinders after? No. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe. But the the picture's pretty cute, right? Like she did that, I was like, aw, that's cute. Uh It's okay, I think. I mean if somebody did that after you double biceps them, what would you think? I close my window blinders, the curtains. <laughs> if you're the man or the woman? Both. <laughs> Why? Man? I like my privacy, man. The privacy? Fuck, I never know anyway. It's privacy or privacy? Privacy. But then you hear British people say privacy. Or maybe it's just an American and British thing then. But I only know this privacy. Hmm. When well, Nick was winning this game? Yeah, there's no way the British are speaking English wrong, right? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. They started with this shit. I mean, piracy, maybe? I don't know. I think you should really have a window date one day. Like, it will really enlighten you. Just for a moment, though. And then you move on with life. I don't know if I like the idea of a window date. It's fun. It's fun. Really. Just, just be open-minded, man. Now, keep it in mind if I ever get the opportunity, dude. Alright, thank you. I really appreciate that. Also, why is Tiny Middle shit against Viper? Please explain to the viewers. Any core melee matchup is bad against Viper. You get fucking zoned by Q. Hided, zoned, destroyed. Yep. Also, Tiny... Do you ever attack if you're slowed by Viper? With old no, right? Mm, I think you can get one attack off. I saw this video. Slowest attack speed possible is uh, 16 seconds, one attack. I've had that before. Tiny hitting edge. Yep. Sounds about right. Oh wait, there's actually a scroll here. I have a clip of it, I think, where I tried to hit an edge and it like was the full duration of my fucking Shadow Blade or something. And then it said miss at the end? It did. Yep, I remember. <laughs> that happened to me too. I was like so mad. How's drawing just so fat suddenly? What happened? Mm. I wasn't really watching. Same. What the? How is that not a shackle? What? I think the the tree was too far away. It, wh why is Undying so fast? What the fuck? Oh, he's drums. drums. He plays the bongos, man. Yeah, this meat mountain man is walking towards you. What the fuck do you do? Nothing. Look, look how big he is. He has a fucking sword. Why oh, his, his other arm has a sword. Anime, actually. Isn't carry Ayo complete garbage if you don't have like a proper carry hero middle? Like I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure. I think you just need one hero that has super high attack speed and then you hope for level 25 and you win the game. In this case, Wind Ranger. Even Abaddon, maybe. Hmm. And Beastmaster. Is it Abaddon or Abaddon? I. Is it Abaddon? I've ca I've been calling Abaddon since no idea. the beginning of time. <laughs> Everybody says something different. <laughs> Abaddon, I think. Which is Abaddon? Abaddon? Abaddon. Mine at last.
Is it a Baron or Abaddon? Abaddon. Abaddon. Abandon? No. Abaddon. Abaddon. No. How about tomato or tomato? I... Tomato? Or is it tomato? I have no idea. I don't fucking I know, tomato. <laughs> I said tomato. Kona English so different from British English. Okay, so apparently Abaddon is Abaddon. Abaddon? It's not Abaddon or Abaddon. It's Abaddon. <laughs> Abaddon. 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 <laughs> the words get weird to you when you say them too often in a row. Abaddon, 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 Abaddon. Yes. Do you have, like, uh, you know what a Zungbrecher is? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly, I know exactly what it is. But uh, refresh me. Fischer's Fritz, Fischt, Frische, Fische, Frische, Fische, Fischt, Fischer's Fritz. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Switch. I to almost the fucked up, dude. <laughs> Uh. Yeah. How's it called in uh, Dutch? What? Tongue twister. Tongue twister? I don't fucking know. Tongue. Is there's no word for it in Dutch? Uh. Like in German, it's tongbrecher. Which means tongue breaker. <laughs> Trying to think. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a tongue breaker, but that that's directly translated. Tongue twister. Breaker. But I I don't know if there's like a specific word for it that isn't just a description of the Action. It is tongue breaker? Oh, then we have the same as in German. Oh yeah, it actually right? is a skill tongue breaker. Which means tongue breaker. <laughs> tongue breaker, right? Yeah. In tongue breaker is in ward of the movie. Yes. What, what is that word there? Moijilik? I don't know what you're reading. <laughs> in hey. Tongue Breaker is in Ward of Zindi. In Tongue Breaker is in Ward of Zindi Moeilijk uit te spreken is. What is Moeilijk? It's difficult. Oh. Moeilijk iets te spreken, uit te spreken. Like to speak, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, it's actually very German if you. Zecker? What the hell is Zecker? I don't even know what you're saying, dude. Oh, whatever, man. I'm <laughs> done. Dutch is so hard, actually. Fuck. Ah, Dutch it, is it's so similar, language. but it's so hard. Dutch is a terrible language to learn. Yeah, it's so, so there's hard. There's like 25 million people that speak it, and it's really hard to learn. It's useless. It's like German, man. At least for German, you have a lot of speakers. Yeah, but it's still useless compared to like English or Chinese or any of those. Hmm. If just compared by mass. Where's the comeback, I think? The laser ray, man. It's healing him. I got nerfed quite a bit, too. Sun Actually, ray? no. no only cool four down. seconds. I thought it was also damage. Nope. What about Arc Warden? Didn't get touched at all, almost. 
We got nerfed with uh, the cast range on talent or something. Yeah, but my minus 50. Wow. Yeah, and it wasn't and great. Tempest Double can't break smoke anymore. <laughs> that was pretty annoying though that you could break smokes with it. I mean, it's annoying, but it's like... The most annoying shit is that it's 100% uptime. That's the most annoying shit. Mm. Like, why did they not think about nerfing that? Me not know, man. Yeah. I'm happy though. Ice Rock took all my suggestions in about the heroes, pretty much. Yep. Yep. He didn't listen to me when I said nerf Terror Blade, though. <laughs> yep. Good job, Agent GH. Is it actually a comeback? I, I, what does VP win this game? Like, I, I just feel like Draw Ranger is the best hero this game, late game. Draw mm. Ranger. And also, three strength cores against Undying. But he's not going to hack. Yeah, he's going team items as expected. Fucking team player. What, you get 40 second Holland? decay duration on level 15? Yeah, you do. The difference so long? between Holland and Netherlands is that Netherlands is a country and Holland are two provinces of the country. But you might as well call Netherlands Holland because that's where all the important stuff is anyway. No difference, honestly. Why is this wisp so tanky? What the f- Did you see that? <laughs> what the fuck? 2100 health. He only has one ogre axe and a bracer. Find it offensive. You're from Nord Brabant? Brabant? Yeah. Nord Brabant. You ever been there? No. Where is that? It's in the south of Holland, but it's called the North. Brabant. Why is it the north or the south? Because it's the northern part of Brabant. But it's the south of Holland. Yes. South of Netherlands. Also south of Holland, Netherlands. actually. Yeah. Wait, what was Holland and Netherlands again? Holland is two regions in the Netherlands. South Holland, North Holland. And both places have all the imported shit. Like Rotterdam, The Hague, and Amsterdam. Like anything else is basically irrelevant. Also the Randstad is there. Like nothing else really matters in Netherlands, basically. So Netherlands is one, Holland is two. Netherlands is like a billion provinces. Huh. But one big one. Yes. Every coin helps. And Holland is two big ones. Yes. But smaller than the big one. Yes. Got you. What the fuck? It's strange how nobody dies in these kind of initiates. Oh. <laughs> I'll take that. I don't speak Mandarin. I only speak Cantonese. I can't you know what we should do? Either. What? We should go to Chinese school together, dude. Chinese school? Hell yeah. That would be so fun. I think I'd rather learn Cantonese. Illusion. Cantonese is Chinese? Yeah, but mainland China people don't consider it Chinese. <laughs> they actually don't? No, they don't. <laughs> what do they consider? <laughs> it's considered like a different language. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> what are they thinking? Should they? Mm -hmm. why, why did Iron Man break the cock? 
You speak Mandarin only, don't you? Fluently. Mandarin only, yeah. No Cantonese at all. The only thing I know is Ngoi, would you excuse me? <laughs> because I went to uh, Hong Kong, to some dim sum place, and they were like, Ngoi. Oh, Ngoi. I was like, what the fuck are you Ngoy. saying? <laughs> um, Ngoi. That's just the. Uh, How do you say it? Ngoi. Ngoi. Uh, it's more like uh, like a, when you present something to someone and then you say it's like a, like a pre polite thing. Like if they present the menu to me. For example, yeah, or food or whatever. Mm. Or thank you, like okay. they both work. Okay. And I take your order pre. One shitty beef. Yep, come back. Nope, no comeback. Nope, come back. What's game game three? I don't even I don't even speak proper Cantonese either. I speak uh, fucking Dapeng Chinese, which is like a small dialect from Cantonese, which is also already a dialect from the Shenzhen region. Kitty walk. I I speak a dead language. Yep. Like five K people speak this Chinese. Da -da -da. My okay, I'm gonna go for the prime. I speak that you language. Da, da, da. Thank you, Master Chief. I only speak three languages, man. Only? That's a lot, bro. Yeah, but also my Chinese is not good. Like, I uh, I wouldn't be able to so converse with somebody from. So two and a half. Yeah, like two and a half. But it's good enough to practice it out, and I, I think I could speak it fluently in like uh, like half a year or something. Good. Da, da, da. My Chinese was like most one kilogram of at, at, one at its kilogram peak, like maybe sixth or seventh grade, I would say. <laughs> well, that's pretty bad still, actually. That's terrible. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Chinese is really hard, especially writing I, and reading is hard. I also never really got the opportunity to really learn it. All I had was like a private teacher. And then most of it came from Dota. I see. Like, will it be hard to go for the free? I wanted to go to class, but there's no way you can go to, to school when you have a Dota team. Yeah. Which weighs the most? A kilo of bricks or a kilo of feathers? Or one kilo of helium? One kilo of helium, of course. Thank you, Angmo, for the 35. Inhale it. 35 whole months. One more month until 36 months. After that, you know what happens, don't you? I love playing in VG, man. Because there wasn't any of this uh, player relations bullshit. What? It was just business? Yeah, like Chinese players, or I mean Chinese teams, they pretty much just do rosters and the players can't say much about it. That's not always that good, though. Now, it's not always a good, but it's also sometimes better than the other way. Yeah, it can be. Because I feel like if you manage to separate your emotions and being a professional... But can they, so though? Important. You don't think the ego takes over eventually? They're gonna be like, What the fuck did you miss that stun? I'm so much better than you. Fuck off, bitch. I mean, of course this stuff happens. But I just mean, like, they wouldn't let, like, personal shit interfere. Like, it happens a lot in the Western teams. Because hmm. everybody kind of has to just accept the fact that it is that way, you know? And if you fuck up, then you that might be the next though? one shopping board. Aren't Chinese teams ah. sucking cock in the last like two years? Ah. <laughs> they got second at TI and it wasn't bad. They did pretty well at TIs hmm. and overall in lands. I mean, it's just a different approach, right? 
I just feel like in the west the uh, players have too much power. Imagine getting fountain dived. Yeah. By Draugrange. Bullied into submission. Had to call GG inside fountain. Thank you, Lunox S for the two months, minus nine for the 14, and RVNPH for the tier two sub, man. <coughs> Third game, wasn't it 2 0? Wait, oh no, 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 VP1 first. Oh, right. Third game. Do you run if you do how far? Thank you, Red Gas for the 11. Do I run? No. Never run. run. If I chase you, you run. What the fuck? Yeah, of course. Oh, what the fuck? What? It's life. Oh, it's Sniff. Sniff in chat. Hands up. In chat spammer. Thank you, Ben Sharmuta, for the seven dudes. Two stomps in a row. Teams taking yep. turns stomping each other. Yeah. I used to run a bit. I'm not used to it. Make it sound like so long ago. I, I ran like a few weeks back even still. Because the gyms were closed. So I just picked up cardio instead of running with my dog. But now Is I'm too lazy. Is it the same as running alone? Mm, kinda. Like the dog just runs with you, like the entire way, or? Yep. It's nice with dogs because it's like instinct for them to run with you. You don't have to train them to do it. Yeah. They just what see... if you have more endurance than a dog, though? Well, then you stop for the dog when you start it. Wow. Well, of Lazy course. Yes, weak as dog. You're gonna kill your fucking dog if you're gonna keep running when he's tired. Yep. I'll just carry him. Extra weight. You can do that. Oh, like Avenger 24 for I the know, I always feel like it's so <clears throat> gross. Like, okay, let's say you're really sweaty and you carry your pet, right? For example, if I work out and I carry my cat, isn't it like how do they clean themselves? They lick themselves all day. Also, they shed the dirty hairs out, so the coat refreshes itself, kinda. Like photosynthesis. Mm, kinda. Not really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't mind carrying my dog. <laughs> Whatever. Is he heavy? 15 kilos, so no. Pick him up. <laughs> Cat is super light. Probably around 5 kg. Yep. Not yep. 50, 15. No way I'm carrying a 50 kilo dog with me, Jesus Christ. Why not? Fat shaming, hello? How, I would, I even, how would I even balance a 50 kilo dog on me? You're flaming me, hello? <laughs> no, there are 50 kilo dogs. You know, like, I think even, even Golden Retrievers can get to 50, can't they? Yeah, easily. <laughs> The big yeah. ones? Yeah, there's some he the obese ones, man. They just eat everything. But there's also dogs that get like... I don't know. Way too big. Big. You can have one of those St. Burners or something that go like 80 kilos. Mini bears. Black bears, man. What can I do with my channel points? At 1 million you get a girlfriend. Really? Yeah. Like, you find one for me or what? No, you just instantly get one. Okay. I'm in. I got uh, 23,000 right now. Yeah. Keep saving. Saving up. A 
Hey guys, as you know, I'm in a bit of a dicey situation. Can you give me some points? Thank you. You have what, 80 kilo St. Bernard? Oh man, I wish I had a big enough house to have a St. Bernard. It would be so nice. Chat, give me your points. If you pull them all together, at least one of us can be happy. <laughs> and it should be me. It was an important question, Chad. How many for a boyfriend? Boyfriends are free. Just ask in chat. Man. Ah, I want some man in my life. There's two ways to find a romantic partner really easily here. One, be an attractive Korean streamer girl. Then you get like any attention from anyone in chat. Or have a fat yep. cock. Then you also get all the attention of every guy. What if you're both? <laughs> a cute Korean girl with a fat cock? And huge boobs, yeah? I don't know. Does size matter, Sing? Of course it does. Why do some women say it doesn't matter? They're lying to you. Yeah, I think so too. You know, if they were really your friend or partner, they would tell you the truth. Yep. Why does it feel like someone lied to you before? What happened, Black? Lots of people lied to me before. Mm. But not about uh, the particular topic. As everybody knows, or should know, I'm uh, well equipped <laughs> with my, <laughs> with my 1kg bolt. Relax, calm down. Wait, what, what's the, like, what's something that was ruined for you by XM TV show? Like, for example, I watched Supernatural and there was this uh, intro where there was a possessed dentist and he fucking killed the guy in the dental chair with the fucking dentist equipment. Well, what got ruined? The fucking dentist, bro. Oh, fucking you got scared of dentists because of it. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Anything at all? Oh, I'm trying to think to of something that got the wound for me from TV shows or, or other things. It's just like some daily life thing, I guess. No, I can't think of anything. Maybe clowns from it? I can't look oh, at clowns. Fuck. Yeah, same. I'm afraid of clowns. Yeah, fucking creepy though. So much money. No bash. No, no, bell pass levels. Curing it or hold it? No, old it scared the shit out of me. 
I think I'm a bit too old to get really scared of horror movies these days. That's no, this is nothing. But usually, back then when you were a kid. Like horror movies now, I usually get spooked from the loud noises or sudden images, but I don't really get scared, you know? As a kid, I got fucking terrified from the ring and stuff. Size matters for fuck with you, man. Our children are stupid. We always ignore these like 18 years only warnings and shit, you know? Yeah. But it actually fucks with your head so much. But like, like all of the, all of the modern things, like uh, it's just kind of whatever. Like sometimes you get like a really loud noise and an image that jumps towards you, and it's just you get spooked for it half a second, startled, but you don't get creeped out that much. Do you think it's not as scary anymore because it's like a more modern setting? No, I, I think I just grew up. And you kind of like rationalize that so it's, it's theater. Yeah, I mean, of course, but. Was, I it, feel like it's was it fucking more it? Where it was this scene where this kid went into the shower and then all the fucking shower heads started moving towards him until he went to the center of the shower room and then he got stuck in the drain and died? I think that was it. I think that was it, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it is just really fucked up. Like, a woman is just, like, doing her hair, and then the fucking, uh, the, the, the fucking sink starts splashing out blood, and fucking hair comes out of the sink and pulls her into the sink and shit, man. Isn't that the what new the fuck one? What comes up with this? Yeah, it's, it's a really new one. Yeah, I've watched that. Yeah, it's, like, so fucked, like... What kind of brain do you need to have to make these movies, man? Holy shit. Oh, Mid Midsummer wasn't that scary for me. Midsummer was just weird, man. It's really weird. It's a really old one. The fucking the exorcism of something. I think it was just called the Exorcist. Huh? Wasn't it the Exorcism of Emily Rose or something? Oh, uh, I vaguely remember a name kid? like that. Like, like the kid on the bed, and like the, the priest is chanting like this spell, and she's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <It's> so fucking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was. Shit, man. I mi mi did you watch Midsummer? I did not. What is it about? It's, I don't know if I want to spoil you or anything, but it's just weird, man. Is it weird? Uh, just Swedish people doing Swedish things. How about uh, the really old horror movies, like the fucking Freddy Krueger and shit? Yeah, okay. You watch those? Yeah, I watched like all of them almost. Dude, I, I was fucking scared of Freddy Krueger for a while when I was like 10 or something. <laughs> you know? It's a scary like, concept, someone killing you in your dreams. Like, people can't protect you there. Exactly. Like, you're not safe in but your house, you're not safe in your bed. The guy was sleeping on his bed. And he and he dreamed that his bed became a fucking became a fucking water pool, and Freddy fucking pulled him in and fucking shredded him, man. After that scene, I could not sleep. Uh, those those weren't that scary for me. Really? Yeah. Fuck! I was so afraid. For me, it was either the Grudge and the Ring that fucked me the most. For some reason, I didn't care so much about those. Uh, you didn't care about the Grudge? Yeah. You know, so you know how I watched the Grudge? Kruger, My brother was fucking like, yo, let's go watch a movie together. I was like fucking 12 or 13 years old. I was like, sure, brother, let's go. Let's go watch a movie. And he fucking shows me the Grudge. That's a good idea. And how old is he? He's like five years older than me or something. So he just tried to ruin you, basically. Yes. And I he succeeded. I was scared of IT the most cause the clown was real. If it was like some crappy puppet, I probably would have been okay. Oh, the old... Yeah, this is scary, man. That movie's terrifying. Fucking <laughs> okay, terrifying. Make it pass the fish for the 500 bits, voice edge for the 400 bits, spine on for the 11. There's a lot of pretty fucked up concepts out there. Size matters for guys, things can't change, but body positivity for girls, things can change. Double standards? Ah, pointless to talk about. Things are just the way they are, man. Yeah, accept it. I watched the original Grudge. The Japanese one, not the American one. What's the new one? There's a new one? Uh, there's a Jew on or whatever? Oh, there's, there's a Jew on series, I saw it on Netflix. I wanna watch it, uh, I wanna set a day aside and just watch like, all of it. Yeah. 
Like a yummy cheerleader Good for luck. the prime. Game should be up by now. Yeah. If you don't come back, <laughs> I'll take care of chat for you. Yeah. There's not so many horror series on uh, Netflix. Like your Unfurf 2 for the Prime, man. And not really good ones, anyways. Yeah, it's mostly old shows that got put on Netflix, and then um, some some things like the Haunting of Hill House was good, but I think that's the only one memorable to me. Du -du -du. Like for another 250, man. See old killer clowns from outer space. Killer clown. Why does that sound so familiar to me? Killer clowns from outer space. Oh my god, dude, don't look that up. I looked it up. I think I've seen this. <laughs> but yeah, that, this is also not scary for me. Yeah, that one's not scary. I agree. Child's play was scary to me, though. If you want to talk about puppets. Child's play was fucking terrifying. Jesus Christ. Did you watch a movie called Curse of the Puppet Master? I think so. Let me, let me look it up. Curse of the Puppet Master. No, I haven't. I don't recognize this. How about this, uh... Chucky movie? <laughs> where... One of the dolls has a fucking... The ring starts crawling out of drill the head thing? Belly. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's one scene where he drills into somebody's head. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't into his dick first and then his head? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty... Like, like some cowboy. There was like a cowboy doll. He fucking... Like lassoed him, and then he starts digging into his fucking dick, and then he like bends over and then he starts digging into his fucking head. Oh. That shit fucked me up too, man. So fucking scared of fucking dolls and everything. Radiance turned to bad. <sighs> you weren't scared of child's play because in your head it was just a doll you can just kick it? For me, it was the idea that there could be monsters hiding right in front of me and nobody would believe it. Like a Jordan 2 feet for the 7, and Jordan for the 250. Imagine if Sadako from the ring starts calling out from Teddy's belly. I need to look up who Sadako is. Yep. Don't look up who Sadako is! Holy fucking shit! What? How do I spell it? I'm not telling you. Who soy Sadako this? Don't fucking Google Sadako. Fuck, dude! I told you not to do it! Holy shit, man! I fucking saw it! I saw it! <laughs> she looked at me, dude. I think I'm done. Can you give clearer instructions next time? Fuck! Oh, I'm not afraid of movies like Hostel. Like, uh, uh, The Saw and, and Hostel and all those movies, they're, they were kind of whatever to me. Yeah, I enjoyed those a lot. Yeah. Enchantress. Yep. The Thai horror movie called, called Coming Soon. Yep. I think uh, I'll watch it, dude. Thai horror movie called Coming Soon. Yep, title bang. sounds scary enough. Yep. I'm in. It is Did you did you check like new releases on Netflix recently? Or do you watch I Netflix? Wa I do, I do. But I think our shows are different, right? Probably. Yeah, slightly different. But I was I was just browsing through the categories and new releases, and it was like all Indian stuff. Yeah, like, the did, Indian did you notice that? Stuff? It's like not just Indian matchmaking. It's like Indian horror movie, Indian uh, like uh, romance movies, like everything, everything India. It's like just a list of like thirty series of Indian movies and TV shows and everything. What what the fuck? I mean, yeah, living in Singapore. It's so random. Uh, a lot of Indians here, so yep, I know what you mean. Five seconds. I don't so know why. Random, like but... a... Oh, they're pretty decent shows too. 
but they, they speak Indian in them, so I can't I can't watch and play at the same time. That's why I need the shows to be in English. Bollywood's rights for ball, maybe yeah, maybe something like that because it's like a bunch of shows that just came out of nowhere. Oh, I watch Free Idiots. I love Free Idiots. Five it's a really good movie. <clears throat> I've seen a Korean movie I saw The Devil. I've watched like all the Korean horror movies out there. I fucking love Korean horror movies. Are they different? Or... Mm. Or what's good about them? Korean horror movies... They try to fuck you in the head. It's not so much about jump scares or creepy black haired long girl. A uh, black long haired girl. Long black haired girl. Yeah, long haired black girl. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're the fucking creepy, dude. So they, they build up like suspense and shit. Yes! Oh my god, it's just like two hours of not knowing what the fuck goes on. And I love that shit. Sounds fucking hype, dude. There's literally. What's my favorite? I love that scene from Conjuring. The did you watch Conjuring? Yeah. The the scene with the nun. Picture. Uh, I don't remember. It's been a while. Wow, that one was so fucking suspenseful. Like the the scene was building up for like eight minutes or something. It was crazy. Hmm. That was like the only scene that I liked from that, uh, from that movie. Fucking Valak. Jesus. I don't know if Netflix yeah. is worth it for doing Crunchyroll. I don't know what shows there are on each individual platform. I just use Netflix because that's the first one I got and I'm too lazy to change. I'm boomer. Ass movies. Dyer's turn to pick. Keeper of the light. There's an English oh. rule for where do you watch this when going like three, five long sh shiny black hair, but no one is blah, 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 blah. My English is not good enough. I don't know anything. Did you mainly learn your English from gaming too? Mm, TV, and, shows, and TV shows, games, yeah. everything, yeah. yeah same. <coughs> I, do, I barely I did... learned English from school. Yeah, same. I was also always so far ahead of others. Yep. It was the easiest subject in school for me. Yep. PE and English. So easy. Ten seconds. Oh, I still have to watch Parasite too, yeah. Oh, don't look behind you now. He's there. He's there right now. Oh, my cat is there actually. Don't look. Where do you look then? Don't look behind you. Is Make sure there's or? no reflection in your screen. Just don't look. Even when there's light on? Especially when there's light on. So it's safe in the dark? No. So it's just not safe? Yeah. How long? Forever. That, that, what? How do you go pee then? You never look back. So she just stands right behind me or what? Yeah. So if I turn my body, it's fine? Yeah. So she's just always behind me? Yeah. So no mirrors, no nothing. Yeah. As long as I walk straight, it's fine. Ten yeah. Seconds. What if I sit on the Ten toilet? Seconds. Is she gonna sit on top of it or what? Yeah. Of course. She's gonna be on the fucking ceiling upside down, but the head is facing you. So don't look. But I thought she's behind me. She's always gonna be behind you. 
But I'm pretty sure my cat is behind me right now. Yep. Kind of like Spider-Man, yeah, but with the head like uh, turned 180. Oh, like an owl. Kind of like an owl, yeah. Owl woman. Yeah. Ten seconds. Five so can I look now? No. Oh. Did you do the Bloody Mary thing yet? I never will, man. <laughs> I never will. Fuck that shit. Alright. Did you do it? I, I told you I did it. I, I mean, recently. Oh, no. I mean, it didn't work the first time. Why would it work the second time? You never know until you try. Does Black Nose a Hungry Ghost Festival now in Singapore? What is that? What's the Hungry Ghost Festival? Sounds interesting. And, and, and this month, uh, people burn paper to appease the ghost. Oh, my parents do that. But I don't know what was this month. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my parents it's, would uh, spill tea and they will burn like fake money. Yeah, it's this entire month. They would offer food and uh, chicken. And the chicken? Chicken. Why fake money? Well, it's like money for the, for the people in the afterlife. Dead. Yeah, for the dead. Yeah. They can use it in the afterlife or something like that. I, I never really asked my mother about it. I just know she does it every year or so. Do you do it? No. Too lazy. The actual rich people burn cars? <laughs> They're gonna drive a Ferrari in the afterlife? What the fuck are they thinking? <laughs> no way, dude. There's no way. <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck no. In I'm a simple man. How are you doing, Sing Song? How much does paper money cost? Stream in a while, just coming back like how, around to say cheap. hello. How many paper dollars can you get for a dollar? A lot. It's usually shit material they use. Recycled garbage. Think up Evo for the 54 months of tier 2, man. I am doing pretty well, man. How much money would these people make if you sold a paper dollar for a dollar? Like one to one. That's what they do, isn't it? They just sell fucking... They're just trading paper for real paper that's worth something. Yeah. Imagine buying fake money with real money. To to burn it. What Why the don't you fuck? Just burn Think real about money? it for a second. Yeah. Just burn the real money. Honestly, it's actually so much more difficult, right? Like you have to go and exchange the money for fake money first to, to then burn the fake money. Just burn the dollar. I don't know if it's allowed to burn money here. It might just burn it. it. Might be illegal. How would they know what's burning though? I don't fucking know. Can, can, can they smell the smell of burning money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can burn little money. You can't even like destroy coins and stuff. Cause they're so durable or because it's illegal? Oh, Cause it's illegal. I dare you. With all the strength you have in your arms, try to tear apart a Singapore bill. You can't. They're indestructible. Hmm. Yeah, I, I wouldn't burn money in Singapore, dude. They fucking kill you for drug possession or something or trafficking. Like, you burn money, they're gonna fucking Same, cane you. Same, man. They're gonna cane you. There's so many people burning shit here, and it, every time I open a window for fresh air, I don't get fresh air. I get fucking. I mean, Smoke you air. live in fucking Singapore, man. You're not getting fresh air there. Yeah, but why can't they just burn no... What's the difference? Paper burns like paper, bruh. Is Singapore port city? 
Yes. Yeah, you know, you never get in good air if you live in a poor city. All poor cities are fucking shit air quality. But better than China. Now it depends on what places. I'm sure a lot of places in China have great air quality. Yeah, not the ones I've been to. Singapore has amazing air quality? Really? Let me check. Air quality. I'm serious, yeah. Singapore, Singapore has really good air quality. Uh, until it reaches August. Because then people start burning all the shit and it fucking starts smelling like shit. Let's see. Air quality ranking Singapore. Fuck, these numbers don't mean anything for me. Great. What are you looking for then? Bangladesh has the best air quality in the world? Wait, where's Bangladesh? Bangladesh, Pakistan, Mongolia, Afghanistan have the best air quality in the world. The battle begins. Really? No, wait, it's flipped around. It's the worst. Yeah, of course. <laughs> this is the no other way. way it's the worst by far. The, the India haze, of course. It, it like, just what? said number one, dude. So I assumed it was number one best. But it's like kind of like America number one. Yeah. Wait, let me look for it. Singapore is ranked 52. Out of? Out of hundreds. Remember, oh, remember Bangladesh is 83. Who is uh, 83 first points. Rank? First rank is Bangladesh with uh, 83 points in air quality. But I don't know what this oh, oh. means. Oh, it's the reverse scale? I'm looking for Netherlands. Wait. Netherlands is ranked 75, which is a bit better. So yeah, um, it's a scale from 0 to 100. Netherlands has 10 points. And Singapore had... I think it was 16 or 19 points and then That's number worse, and right? the worst one is bangladesh with 83 points but the thing is our bad air is not from singapore it comes over from other countries around us okay i, I know in in like specifically in rotterdam the air quality here is bad a lot of uh stuff transporting all the time like there's a lot of bad air from indonesia coming over here I heard about that, like the, the, the burn farmland or something, and then yep. all the smoke passes over or some shit like that. Oh, dude, a search Elder Titan with a suitcase, it could be scary. <laughs> yeah. Why did they keep picking Viper? I still like the hill, huh? I mean, it's good against Spectre, I, I guess. Okay, lightning phase against Invoker. I wouldn't say it's great, right? It's like it's... No, I think Invoker is actually one of the better heroes against Viper. I think so? Hmm. I think Invoker can get zoned so easily. If you're not careful. No, you, you just say cross it up, and then you tornado MP him. It's out of mana. And without mana, Viper uh, go... can't really farm. Oh, he does go cross works. Yeah, there's a lot of Singaporean viewers here. Of course. Never forget. Horse. Yeah, because they have. I have their money, dude. I have all their money. It's the fucking Sing dollar. Took me a while to get that. <laughs> <laughs> they can't do shit. It's all mine. What do you think about GH feeding? <laughs> it's normal. Why did he chase a Spectre? Do you think he could kill her? This person's way too broken. I don't know. Yep, Spectre. Oh. Oh, it doesn't have blinding lights. I could have pushed them on the high ground, maybe. Was it hard for you to move to Singapore? Don't you have to go through like a bunch of official channels? Pretty easy. Was it? No. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I'm not like a PR or anything. When I play with faces, I got the... What did I get? I get like, kind of like a green card, like a long-term pass. Okay. Yeah.
Anyway, it's, it's quite easy for Germans because there's uh, good connections between Singapore and Germany. Alright. I thought it was such a hassle to move to a different country. I mean, it is not fun, let's put it that way. Yeah, it's a really big hassle. Very annoying. Like, imagine moving in your country, but like 10 times more annoying. Yeah. I hate moving. Yeah. Same. A doodle for the ages. Nice uh, viper. You know, Singapore's uh, economic growth is pretty remarkable. There's like a book about it. They went like from third world to first world super fast. Like 30 years or something, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I should consider moving because Netherlands is sinking. Bro, is we, it? Just, we just built bigger dams. Bigger dams, harder dams. Is it actually sinking? Dams, no. <laughs> but it might. Isn't that scary though? To to live in a place that could that was flooded before? Mm, no. Like, you could literally just die tomorrow. I mean, you won't you won't even wake up. Bro, dams are so fucking over engineered, there's no chance. You sure? Dams are extremely over-engineered. They're, they're, they're not like Chinese construction companies where they cut corners or something. They, they fucking... They go all out on those things. That's because your life depends on it, right? Well, the entire country depends on it. I mean, not your life. I mean, the, the Netherlands' life. <laughs> well, yeah, the entire country. Yeah. Wouldn't it be fucking... Sad to just like suddenly see like a gush of water flow towards you and you're like, yep. I've seen that before in the past where some villages get flooded, but I don't know if it's from dams failing. I don't think it's from dams failing. I think it's just like rainfall or something and not properly going to the sewage. I can't already imagine what you're gonna think if that happens to you. I mean, like, yep, yep. This, is, this happens in other countries just normally. Like, uh, one fucking week after I left Penang in Malaysia, the fucking town flooded. From rain or something. There's too much rain. Yeah, but it's just like a, like a, not like a deadly flood, right? I don't know, dude. I'm talking about, like, the entire fucking country is underwater, like how it's supposed to be. Like Atlantis. Mm, I don't think that ever happens. But it could. <laughs> I what don't I'm know, saying. man. Like, that's, that's scary. I'm sure Dutch engineers are really smart and they'll foresee any trouble. And if they don't see it, there's nothing I could have done anyway. So, I live life one day at a time in peace. Like that. Peace is good, my friend. <laughs> How, like, how big is your biggest dam? I don't know actually. Massive, right? Yeah. Jeez, so many creeps. Tower hitting, uh, the catapult hitting on stop too. Yep, catapult. As long as I can swim, I'll be fine. I don't actually know how well I can swim anymore. I haven't swam in like 10 years. I think it's natural, like you just go in the water and you kind of know how to swim. But what it's if you bicycle. don't and you just sink and die? That's called being a choker and you panic under pressure. I think I'll be fine. Yes. I think so too. But you're also much heavier than before. Hmm. That's oh, fine, just put your tummy in the water and you'll float. Dutch people cannot sink because they're tall? It's true, I've seen milk. If Netherlands ever flooded, Milk would still be fine. Slenderman or what? Huh? He's like Slenderman or yeah, He's what? fucking 2 meters.
Okay. <laughs> Have you seen Saxa? I think he's taller than Saxa. Really? <laughs> Milk is like 197 or something. And the Saxa is over 2 meters. What, what the fuck? Yeah, Saxa is a fucking monster, dude. Have you not seen the picture? Google him right now. I've met him in real life. Really? I think it's bad, bad posture that or something, because he didn't look that tall when I met him. Oh, he definitely has bad posture. I mean, okay, just look at this. No, don't no wait. I'm watching Void get away here. Maybe that's why Dutch people go so tall. With the inevitable floods that will come. No, it's because they eat so much cheese and dairy products. That too. Your fucking bones out of the world, man. Fucking cars everywhere. He's the tallest professional player at 2 meters. Ah, oh, shit, man. <coughs> Saxa is a monster, man. Like, even I felt short when I was standing next to him, and I'm quite tall. Like one of those pictures where you see, uh... Like the rock, that next to Yao Ming or something, and the rock looks small. Ridiculous. Yeah. Or uh, the mountain and his wife. Bro. How does sex work in that relationship, bro? I don't know. How does kissing work? He does, like, if you do a if you're two meters and you get really wide, yeah. does your dick go with it in any way? No. Or are you just like a two meter tall guy and you're like two meters wide too? And you just have the same dick as when you were, you know, half as wide. Yes, that doesn't grow with you at all. Like not even, not even a bit. <laughs> not even a bit. Not like one centimeter. No, not one centimeter. But that being said, I, I think he's, uh, yeah, he's, uh, okay, he's, you know, he's well off. I, I just get that feeling when I look at him. Like, if a 2 meter guy has an average sized penis, doesn't that just look like 1 inch? But the thing is, if you get really fat, then the, like your, your dick will look smaller because there's like a lot of fat around the area. Yeah, but I'm not talking about that though, I'm just talking about somebody that's just big in general, like wide shoulders, super tall, big muscles no, and work. everything. Doesn't work like that. How, how else would it, like, there's no way it would fit anywhere, dude. And then I just grew with you. The mountain is like my fucking shelf. What the fuck? He missed. Miracle missed. And nobody has through sight. Oh my god. It was so close too. Noon even stopped moving there because he finally got hit and then he just walked out. He's like, nope. Uh, he wanted to get the two man chrono, huh? Uh, did he get pulled out by shockwave? No, right? No, no, no. I think he just miscalculated the AoE. Yeah, I was really close. Yeah, and now Twitch it will be like, Oh, America's so fucking bad! <laughs> yeah. Made a mistake. Expensive. Would have been in Vocal Kill. Yeah. Fine. I always do that too, so I can say, Corona cooldown, I farm. Oh no, Magnus got hit by accident. Oh, he can't do anything. Might control, they can see you. Is there two sides this time? <laughs> <laughs> Second time, man, he just walks out with Invis. Nobody's buying fucking dust. Look at GH, he's like, dust? You mean smoke? I buy smoke. Dust? Bottle? No, I buy bottle. Mirko's like, dust? Nope, I buy fairy fire. Anybody buying dust? Got all the dust? Got all the dust. But raindrop. Haunt? For what? For what actually? I don't know. It has a 3 minutes cooldown you fucking nerd. You just press the button. 
Now you can't press the button for three minutes. Radiance top tower is under attack. Da -da -da. Thank you, Radiator, for the five months and Viole Ole for the 15. He feels like a low MMR pub, right? Where they, they gank Invoker and he just ghost walks away all the time. Twice. Fucking twice. He has a dust now on Rubik. I'm pretty ah, sure the card will bottle for him though. <laughs> did he lose it? Oh, no, he didn't lose it. Oh, she baited. Radiant has a much stronger leg than Venom, right? Mm. If you Chrono Spectre plus Nether Toxin, he just dies. I think it's easier to play at least. I don't know about Hero Strength. If they can somehow save the person that gets gone on by Chrono, they have a good chance of playing the fight. I feel like they can't save anyone though. Yeah, I don't think they can yeah. save it. That's the problem here. There's no saving even skill Spectre, at least. If you get broken as Spectre, you're so normal. <laughs> broken. It always sounds so mean when you say that, but you know what I mean, right? Broken. Broken man. Trying to be broken. She's repair kit. I don't know about this TP. Is the haunt ready? Oh, there's no haunt yet. Haunt is three minutes cooldown. Yeah, but it's not. It's, it's the same for level one since before. Not nerfed. Yeah, I know. Not nerfed yet. Now it's nerfed. <laughs> now it's 10 seconds more. Yep. 10? Yeah, 150 to 160. And then oh, 20 yeah. more for the last level. And then 20, yeah. The last level feels really impactful. Yeah, it does. I mean, late game, it's gonna slow down for whatever Spectre lineup you're playing. I feel like it's a bigger reason to get Aghanim from Spectre now. I never thought that Axe was that good. In fact, they keep getting picked off. 35 seconds haunt is pretty good though. I keep looking away, they keep getting picked off, like the most random deaths. Yep, deaths. White, Pippo. Happy. Death. No RP. I think the RP is the invoker. Oh, people burning. Oh, people burning. Put your hands. Oh, that's too bad. He couldn't get him before the jump. Ask Chrono, but what does he really call? No, Invoker! Almost fucking pulled him out. Good kill, good kill. I think it's too easy to play with the Chrono Sphere. They just kill yep. wherever they Chrono and that's it. Minus one core. How do you save if you have no saves? But, but, now they don't have Chrono for the Spectre. And he's really weak when he's standing inside the, uh, the Nether Toxin. So he just walks out. Yeah, I should walk out. What was MC doing there? I don't know, but VP got the back here, man. He ain't fighting without Invoker. Is that Sunstrike? No. Haste. Level 1. It's 100 damage. I'll play the new world game when it comes out properly. I don't want to play Betas. Betas. You know the problem is with Quas Wax and Walker, it always falls off, man. Yeah, but it's also much more impactful, really, game. 
That is. An Exoid. Exoid is very mobile. But it didn't really do much either way. Yeah. I don't know if that's a Quas Vex or an Exoid problem though. It's hard to play Exoid with a Spectre on your team. Just two heals or a Perma farming. Yeah, why did they pick a Walker to begin with? They last picked it. Humphrey Tail, maybe. I mean, it's Noon playing Invoker. He loves his hero. <coughs> I already played Kingdom of Amalur. Is that game old? Super old. Spammers. <laughs> and Spectre can't really carry this game either, because of Viper, I feel. Mm. But Spectre is actually really fat. Like, Viper and Magnus are poor. If he can kill two supports in his ulti, the fight could be nice. I don't see how I'm worried a bit. Like, if this Viper doesn't farm, it's not gonna be easy to win for this Void. They got a lot of kiting shit. I think the win condition for VP is to take Roche. Roche, you have two lives against uh, Kono, and then suddenly the game becomes much easier. It's so hard to take Roche though. Yeah, it Kono is. Kono RP. It is. But anything else, they have to outplay their opponents. Because whoever gets Kono just fucking dies in this lineup. You can't save Invoker, and I don't think you save Spectre either. Nah, uh, Spectre gets Kono, and Nether Toxin, you're done. Nah, Invoker you just are done dies. So What do you think about his Manta on Void? Oh. Doesn't this spell anything? Cold Snap, you can Manta dodge EMP, I guess? That is so unreliable though. Cold Snap is reliable, but yeah. Yeah, I just feel like a BKB? I just Chrono BKB and punch a guy. Not sure. I feel like this... This Manta is actually... It's good against single target damage. It gives you friends too for uh, Spectre Desolate. Yeah, but I think if you buy BKB, you just man fight him. Hmm. Like, Invoker loves playing against no BKB. Talking about that win condition for VP, it is disappearing rapidly. Yeah, but what happens if you just get Deafening Blasted? You're done. Do it right now. I'm surprised they're not scouting with Elder Titan. What are they doing? Oh my god, they just got it for free. How is nobody checking this? There's five heroes off the map. They have Elder Titan too. Both teams have to understand that Aegis is always a win condition against Void. Having an extra life against Chronosphere is... Like, it nullifies the fucking hero, basically. Nullifies? Who gets nullified by nullifier? No, the, the, the void. It gets nullified by Aegis. Because you, you... You kill somebody yes. with uh, Kono and it doesn't matter anymore because you just come back. But then you get repeat after. Yep. <laughs> sure, I guess. I really hate playing against these mass team for lineups. It's Coddle too. So hard to fight on too. It is. Need good vision before you fight. Better pick yeah. out the supports before you kill anybody else. Like you can't go on Viper or Magnus or Void, you have to kill supports first. Dying All of them are too tanky. You could kill Void first if you can lock them down completely, but yeah. These, have stuns. these heroes aren't good with lockdown. Like none of them are. Into the hex before that. He didn't gold snap! Yeah. Oh, this is so bad now. They're like in the middle of fuck all zone. When I saw that tornado, I, I was expecting Meteor and everything, but <laughs> nothing came out. Not even Cold Snap came out. And now they're fucked. This literally looks like an invoker in my, like, pop games, man. He's so poor, man. Yeah. Oh, he got him with Kono. He's actually pretty tanky without the break. 
Yeah, you need to break. Oh, look at that! It doesn't give a fuck. He tanked RP, he tanked Chrono, and then the break comes and he dies instantly. If Invoker was present in this fight, they would have a really good chance. Yeah. And Spectre actually doesn't die yet. Yet. I think with the damage item coming out, the MKB. Oh, it's just all about the break. If you get broken, you're done. Yeah, I think he dies with MKB plus break. I'm glad to see you are still getting my five dollars. Thank you, Al Chupa, right? for the 36. Don't support that for the 29. What else do you need to kill? <laughs> Nothing. Mm. What's the XP advantage like? Oh, 5k for Enigma. How much minus armor is mom? Is it 8? 8. I think. 8. Ah. Viper dying here for free, maybe? What is he doing up there? What the fuck? I don't know, but he's not. <laughs> he's fucking not dying. Oh, there's no desolate, that's why. Oh, I forgot it fucking disables desolate too. Yeah, his matrix is completely owned by a Viper. Yeah, it's not just dispersion. Yep. I don't know what he was doing there though. He was completely away from his team. I don't know. Oh, Miracle! Is there a TP cancel for this? I think Titan holds Stomp for the TP, and that's it. He blinked right into fucking three more heroes. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Agent Miracle. Make it look natural. Mind control dies for this. Good job, Agent Boy, Miracle. Fine, though. Run back a bit to make it look more natural. Yeah, what is fine. Why well, he used mom, dude? Holy shit, he almost killed himself. What the fuck? Buyback ET? F I keep thinking this is DK, man. Asian Weeha, well done. Excellent performance. What are you doing? You made it look so real. No, he didn't. Well done. Stop defending him, no. <laughs> it's the second time. What is he doing? <laughs> He's, he's like 300 a mess. He dies. He walks back in the lane and he fucking dies. Oh, he doesn't have cold snap ready. Nice vacuum. <laughs> now the ult's up again though. I really don't like Void without BKB against the heroes. It's so suicidal. Yeah, it's pretty squishy. I it's still don't get what the Manta's gonna do. <laughs> Friends for Desolate, man. Yeah, but you don't need to care about this if you just kill him. <laughs> I guess so. Does he have MKB already? I think he does. Yeah, he does. Yep. Oh, that's, now it's that's damage big. city. Yeah, that's big. It's such a power spike that item nowadays. He kills anybody but Spectre in it, I think. Maybe not Darkseer. Darkseer dies. You think? Even with yeah, yeah. Guardian Greaves? If, if you get like one, two bashes and they trigger another bash, it's just dead. Because they all trigger MKB procs too. Okay. I, I, I tested in the lobby one day. I just had Mom, Midas, Treads, MKB. I killed a level 25 AM with like five items. Look at that damage. Look yeah, that damage. This, this is the problem. Like, this is how I see the end, mid game going and the late game. They go no an important target and there's nothing you can do about it. Need that Aegis. So this doesn't happen. Really need that Aegis. The only reason why White is so broken is because of his fucking triple or quadruple bash shit. They glyph that keeps Invoco's trying to kill. And then he gets yep. fucking RP'd into 10 heroes. Bro. I like the way they use the ults just to kill people. Uh, uh, can you can you go back and look how Void decimated the uh, Dax here? Did he just chain bash his ass? Uh, I think so, I'm not sure. Dark is like doop de doop de doop de doop. I'm gonna go for the wound while my invoker is getting caught. And then bam 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 he gets fucking anult. <laughs> yep. Void's damage output with, with the MKB mom is actually ridiculous. I didn't even get the rune. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, Void is a hero, man. Yep. Happy birthday, yeah, I played mid Void today. And level 5, I got a triple bash. Literally 4 bashes from one hit. He lost half health. Where's the fucking gold snap? What is it? Uh, no one. Didn't you say he's one of his favorite heroes? It is. This is his pop spamming hero, man. So why is he playing like this? <laughs> I don't know why he's delaying his cold snap all the time. Is he waiting for something? I'm not sure. Yep, yep. Maybe I need to teach him how to play Invoker, man. Look at his net worth. He's bottom four. <laughs> Huh? He's one of the better invokers, but he's just not playing so well this game. Yep. I, I Invoker is honestly just a feeling hero, man. If you're fucking up a little bit, you're just gonna doubt yourself for the rest of the game. I fucking hate that about Invoker. Hmm. Because there's so much you can fuck up with Invoker, right? I think normally he's more of an exoid player. Yeah, I think most people are, honestly. I don't know many good quads. Wax players. Yeah, it's Maybe like Thompson, Thompson, Thompson Sumil, mid one. They're all like really good cross Wax. But beyond that, it's quite limited. Like Miracles, cross Wax, and Walker's a joke too. <laughs> Relax, dude. No, it's actually true. Compared to his Exit, like his Exit is so good. And then you watch this cross Wax and you're like. <laughs> uh. He's probably the best Exit on Walker out there, right? Miracle. I love playing Miracle. I mean, I love seeing Miracle Invoker. Fun to watch. A cane rune. It doesn't fucking. It doesn't matter, it man. <laughs> you can't manta dodge uh, the thing. If you EMP? get cold snapped. Because yeah. okay. he always gets cold snapped. And it's quite hard to time, you know? It's 2.9 seconds, and you have 0 0.1 seconds to dodge it. Just dodge it. A, I mean, I can do it. There's an audio cue. But I think if you practice it, it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah. But also, no one times it pretty well that he just um, cold snaps him at the end of it. It doesn't matter anyway, though. He's full mana again. Yep. Guardian Grease. Ah, this, this gosh, is there. there, there there's this hunt. But no Earth Splitter and no wall. There's no way to get it for free again, right? Oh, they're getting another Roshan! For free. They need this Rosha. It's. It, oh, tornado! It might be in time. Bro, it's in time. But they still go for it, right? Yeah, of course they do. Oh my! They get two Roshans. They get two Roshans with barely any contest. Dead for free. Yep. Bruh. Is VP just forgetting about Roshan? I think they're scared of RP Chrono. It's, it's you pretty cannot be scared of fighting at Roche. Because if you're scared yep. of fighting at Roche, just give up. I Need mean, that that's Aegis. what they're doing, right? They basically are giving up. Two seconds. Good tornado? One second. Oh. oh no, he went back up into the... No, that's his entry, but it's fine. <laughs> he went back into the heroes. He's fine. Everything is fine. Fucking ghost was so obnoxious, man. It slows so much. Fucking annoying. So many people just got nuked. What the fuck? If they die, they die. Yep. How many people die from a nuke? I don't know. 50 maybe? DD Void. Oh. No bottle though. Fight now. Yes, go now. Yeah, let's go. Oh, Elder Titan. Dead. Bash. Yep. Two hits plus bash. one bash. Birth is a promise. Death. That the bash gives another auto attack. It's so beyond me, man. So fucking stupid. He gets purged. <laughs> Wah! My Didi, wah! My Empower also! <laughs> Manta Dodge! No. Nah, he's too pussy to try it now. It's not Arteezy, man. Arteezy would have done it. 
Yeah. Yep. I would have done it too. Oh, Invoker. Not even worth casting ulti on. Yeah, he just pump faked it. Casually free hitting the enemy mid. Is he really the mid though? Look at his net worth. <laughs> oh, this is bad, man. Bruh. I should empower and reapply that empower. <laughs> bash! <laughs> the bash is like. <laughs> it's so stupid like this, man. Bash! Oh shit, dude. That's a good clone. Yep! Yep, Spectre, just pull his BKB too. 80 seconds, no buyback. Nice. Yep. That late game is way too easy to play. Yeah. As if you will avoid. It's just such an easy late game here to play. All he has to do is Chrono either Invoker or, or Spectre, and that's it. And the fight is won. Yeah. What do you think about him having... I uh, weave our ult in his first spell. It's fair. <laughs> Why is that part of a fucking time walk? Thank you, Kamiak, for the 44 and show we put a 23. The, the hero concept is so broken. Oh, it's fine. I don't see the problem. You don't? Yeah. What's the next matchup? Let's see. It is... Alliance versus EG. That should be good too. Nah, it's not that good. I think Alliance is gonna get stomped. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yes. I don't know. We'll see. Some Artuzi anti-match? Artuzi? Thank you, Sephias, yeah. yes, for the 23. Wait, Navi to out EG? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Navi played well games? though. Navi played well. We didn't take it away from him like that. Other people played for them maybe? Because the same Navi got 2-1 by VP. And they lost to five men. <laughs> <laughs> Was it the only team and, to lose to five men? An easy stomp five men. Five men is currently... Yeah, they're like one and eight three. Two three? Yeah, they beat Alliance 2-1. What the fuck? Five men. Five men. But, the, but, but they keep picking the same heroes, man. You Fucking know, Venge Arc Warden every game. You know there's a five Russian men. version of five men? There's five comrades too. Yep, I saw that team. Five comrades, five men. Five men? Did they try to make a misery picture? I don't know. It kind of looks like misery. Men. Where do you see the logo? On the, uh, I'm on the Liquipedia. Oh, I think I can maybe see it here. Five men, five comrades, blood. Five men, four zoomers, and one boomer. Five men. I'm going to take a leak. Great right back. Step lively now. Your admiral is on board. For my enemies. I'll take that. Step lively. 